Well Vision Australia's Inclusive Market Systems Development Approach, or IMSD, works with markets and households to improve the market system, helping to ensure people living in poverty can access, participate in, and benefit from a stronger local economy. And to help ensure that change is inclusive and sustainable, World Vision prioritizes women's economic empowerment by addressing gender inequalities throughout this approach. Building on the Local Value Chain Development Model, or LVCD, which is the farmer-focused approach that World Vision has implemented for over 12 years. IMSD is a facilitative approach that analyzes systemic constraints in the market system, working within value chains to the benefit of households and individuals. Interventions incentivize market actors to change the way they operate to benefit the poor. And we know that household-focused programming, combined with women's economic empowerment, ensures that inclusive and equitable economic growth is available to everyone. World Vision chooses the IMSD approach because we embrace systems thinking and use market forces to lead our programming. World Vision believes that the productive capacity of households should sometimes be directly addressed by development agencies in market-sensitive ways. When done well, this engagement can accelerate progress for market actors while at the same time ensuring vulnerable households are more resilient and more able to recover from shocks. After a gender-sensitive market analysis, the project team engaged private sector partners who were able to adjust their business model to more effectively benefit target households. Ongoing support is provided throughout the co-creation and testing, aimed at attracting other actors to copy and then crowd in. At the same time, the project team explores ways to support households to better engage with the changing market system and ensure even the most vulnerable households are included. Well Vision Australia's IMSD portfolio now includes over 20 projects across 15 countries, with a life of award value approaching 90 million US dollars. The Moringa project, supported by the Australian government, World Vision Australia and Wahana Visi Indonesia, is generating private sector investment in central and eastern Indonesia. In 2017, more than 28 million people live below Indonesia's national poverty line. With high numbers of farmers in eastern Indonesia experiencing poor income due to low productivity, low sales price, and high production costs. This is further compounded by the lack of skills and knowledge related to good agriculture practice, market linkages, and a reduced access to quality input products and financial services. The Moringa project addresses key challenges facing farming households and their market system. At the end of our first annual growing season, World Vision's impact assessment documented positive results for farmers and their families across three subsectors of pili nut, moringa seeds, and maize. Maize farmers are the most commercially oriented of all target households. However, they lack access to quality seed and have limited knowledge of productive agricultural practices. Also, agricultural input suppliers did not consider remote rural farmers as potential clients for their best quality seed. Hampir sebagian besar petani yang ada di Sulawesi Tengah itu menanam jagung. Kemudian jagung juga pangsa pasarnya besar. Yang menjadi masalah adalah rata-rata petani di sini masih menghasilkan di bawah standar nasional. Model pendekatan kita ini kan kita bekerja sama dengan mitra yang berpotensi dalam peningkatan produksi jagung ini. Sejak 2018, teman-teman Wahana Visi Indonesia mencoba untuk melakukan program dan mengajak Sinjenta untuk terlibat sehingga teman-teman wahana visi kemudian melihat bahwa ini problem kemiskinan yang harus kita atasi bersama The project's primary partner, Syngenta, has created better access for farmers to quality hybrid seed and have provided agronomic support. Their new business model works through an improved supply chain that now includes village retailers who include farming support as part of an embedded service karena potensi di sini yang banyak dibutuhkan petani itu untuk modal sarana produksi itu dari jagung. Karena Bundes juga belum terlalu lama, tapi dampaknya sudah mulai kelihatan. Karena sebelumnya mereka itu tidak bisa dapatkan benih, tempat membeli juga jauh. Bundes ini beberapa bulan terakhir ini kita kerjasama juga dengan pengusaha, pengusaha yang bersangkutan mengarahkan anggotanya itu membeli di sini. At the same time, the project team has partnered with a financial institution to train farmers on gender inclusive financial literacy. This training will support household decision making and help 50% of female farmers to engage more equitably with the improved market functions. 
After just one year, May's farmers experienced a significant increase in yield and an average income increase of 265%. Within the whole project, total exposure and increased income have been already experienced by households across all three subsectors. More than 3,000 households were exposed to improved business practices by private sector partners. 984 households adopted improved agricultural practice using quality seed with access to better sales channels. 572 households benefited by increasing their income. The project is directly leading to improved quality of life for children, so far with 430 boys and 406 girls benefiting and households are now able to provide adequate food and cover their medical and education expenses. It's not only the impact at the household level, but the private sector is also benefiting, which means it is likely that new business practices are continued. Syngenta recorded a significant increase in sales performance in the region, with a jump from 2 tonnes in 2018 to 9 tonnes in the same period of 2019. The flow-on effect for Syngenta has seen over 200 hybrid seed retailers and farm shops increase their capacity as an embedded service and enjoy increased sales volumes. IMSD creates sustainable system changes and ensures people living in poverty can access and benefit from markets. It's a powerful approach to eliminating economic barriers for the poor and marginalise, especially women.